Hey YouTube, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to make better decisions in Fortnite. On YouTube at least, it seems like all anyone ever talks about when it comes to Fortnite is who can edit the fastest or who is the best builder. There are videos all over YouTube titled how to be the fastest editor or how to edit like mongrel. But what I think people don't talk about enough is game sense and making the right calls in game. When you ask most people who they think the best player in Fortnite is, of course there are many different answers, but one of the most common answers you'll get is Tifu. Then if you were to ask them who's the best builder, who's the best editor, who has the best aim, they might give you a completely different answer. So why is it that sometimes the best players in Fortnite aren't the ones who can edit like crazy or build super fast? Well it's because the people who win games the most make the right decisions. So in this video, I'm going to go in a little different direction and talk about how to win your fights and win more games by making better decisions in Fortnite. As always, I'll have timestamps linked in the description below to divide this video up into the different topics I'll go over, so feel free to jump between different sections of the video as you see fit. Okay, with all of that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I think you should do to make better decisions in Fortnite is to focus in and eliminate all distractions. If you want to make better decisions in a game, you have to be thinking about what is going on around you and constantly be making plans for what to do next. Now I know that sometimes there are going to be distractions, but if you want to be the smartest player you can be, you have to focus in on the game. So for me, I know I am someone who constantly checks their phone while queuing into games or while dropping, but when I'm playing for the win, I eliminate all the distractions around me and focus in on the game. So that means even when I'm dropping, I'm looking around to see what's going on around me, and I'm always listening for footsteps or other cues that will give me more information and help me make better decisions. Even when doing simple things like rotating to zone, to make the best decisions, you should always be looking around in-game and trying to gather information. Because as Jarian says, the best kind of decision is an informed decision. Something that kind of goes along with the previous tip that will help you make better decisions is not playing on autopilot. What playing on autopilot means is you're kind of just going through the motions, not really planning out what you're doing. Playing on autopilot can happen when you've played for too long of a session, or you're just losing energy, but it is a problem because it means that you aren't playing at your best. So if you want to try to snap out of autopilot and be focused in on the game, make sure you're taking note of all the little details when you're playing. When you pick up a gun, make a conscious note in your head about what you picked up. If it was a sniper, for example, think to yourself that maybe before next fight, you'll take a sniper shot. If you pick up some spike traps, remember that you have those. Or if you pick up a launch pad, remember that you can always use that to get away. One of the biggest problems I have, and I see other people having, is not being aware of what items they have. If you know what you have, it's much easier to make better decisions because you'll be able to use all of your items to their best ability. After I die, for example, sometimes I'll think, oh, I forgot I had X item, or I wish I had done that instead. All of these things come back to not making informed decisions. So if you're paying attention to all the little things, not playing on autopilot, and keeping in mind what items and weapons you have, you'll be able to make smarter decisions in fights. Another thing I want to touch on to make better decisions in game is to be clear what your goal is. When you go into your games, you should have a plan in mind to guide your decision making process. If you don't really have a plan and you're just running around looking for kills, you probably aren't going to end up winning that game. So if your goal is to win the game, for example, then you need to play with that goal in mind. This means sometimes you aren't going to want to take every single fight. Instead, you need to pick and choose your battles to give you the best shot of winning. Think before you take each fight, what will I get out of this fight? Do I have enough materials and gear to take the fight? Or do I have enough time to take the fight? A lot of times I see people, myself included, just running at everyone they see without thinking twice. But if you want to win, you have to be thinking about the situation before you run in. So if you know this person has good gear and was just outbuilding someone, maybe it would be smarter to wait back. If you know you have really good gear and are ready for the late game, then don't run in and waste all your heals on one kill that isn't that important. Especially if you're near the mid to late game, you have to start thinking about whether the fight is really worth it to take. Because sometimes you might not have enough meds or mobility to take, go take a fight, and it might just be better to position yourself in zone well and then take things from there. 
So in short, make sure you're picking and choosing your fights because sometimes the best decision isn't to rush in for the kill. Another reason you might not be making smart decisions in fights is because you get nervous and you aren't thinking straight. I think most people at this point in Fortnite know a lot of really useful strategies and techniques to trick your opponents, but even for people who are mechanically skilled a lot of times, they don't use all their skills in fights. So to make better decisions, one thing you need to do is to stay calm in fights. Now if you are someone who struggles with this, I've made a whole video dedicated to teaching you guys how not to choke that I'll have linked in the description, but one big tip from that video to avoid panicking in a fight is to lower how much you value winning the game. Basically what this means is you have to take a step back, realize it is just a game, and focus on having fun rather than sweating to try to win. Because if all you care about is the win, you're going to be all up in your own head. If you're super nervous about winning, you're going to be panic building, your aim will be jittery, and you'll just be all over the place. In order to stay calm, you've got to reevaluate how much you care about winning the game and relax when you play. Something that goes along with that previous idea of making right decisions and staying calm is avoiding getting tilted. Now if you've been playing the game for too long, or for any reason you are getting tilted in game, you aren't going to be able to think straight and you're going to be playing off of your impulses rather than using your head. So what I do when I notice I'm getting tilted is I take a break to relax and get in the right mindset before I come back and play. And something to try to remember if I've been dying a lot or if I've been getting unlucky is that even the best players in this game aren't winning the majority of the games they play. You have to understand when you queue into the game that the odds are is that you're going to die. So rather than stressing about trying to win every game, make a goal to improve your skills each time you play. This way, when you die, it's not always going to be a frustrating experience, and you can actually get something out of it. Think about why you died, what you could have changed or done better. This is going to significantly improve your mental well-being while playing the game, and it will help you a lot with making better decisions in your games, because you will be able to think about what went wrong in your previous games, and you'll be able to build off your mistakes. It's hard to address every single situation in just one video, but hopefully this video helped you out. If you are staying calm, focused, and constantly planning your moves, you'll be able to make better decisions in your games and win more often. Alright guys, that is going to wrap things up for this video. Please do let me know if you have any other questions down in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please do leave a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you would like to further support me in my content creation, you can also enter my code SPOOKLUKE in the Fortnite shop. For those of you who make it to the end of my videos and reach this point, I want to let you know that if you enter my supporter creator code in the Fortnite shop and comment down below with your username, I will accept your friend request in Fortnite. So if you want to take advantage of that, definitely enter my code in the shop. Other than that, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. It's coming, 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 coming. I know you've been in a hurry.